Welcome to another episode of Academy TV. Today, we're talking about how you can start a wedding planning business whilst working full time. Can I run a business whilst holding down a full time job? We hear this question all the time from new and potential students at the Academy. It's a common question from anyone who is thinking of branching out on their own and becoming an entrepreneur. Now, of course, there is no magic formula that you will see suddenly turn into a successful business and allow you to quit your full-time job. But there are some top tips that we can share with you that might help you to take that next step. Anyone who has started a business is facing the same set of challenges and unless they have unlimited funds at their disposal, they will also have the same dilemma of whether to continue working or throw themselves wholeheartedly into their new venture. Here are our tips to help you combine working full time with launching and running a business. Tip one, how much do you really want it? Your commitment and passion to your new business will be put to the test as it will require everything you have and more. You need to be prepared to make some sacrifices and give it your all. Evaluate your skills and weaknesses and abilities. If you want to be successful, you need to maximise the time you spend on what you're doing and what you're great at and outsource what you're not. Tip two, diarise your tasks. A diary, whether electronic or otherwise, will become your best friend and it will help you stay sane as things start to get really busy. In your diary, write down tasks you can do for your business outside of your full-time job. However, it is essential to be realistic. Use your dead time. Dead time will be your new best friend. For example, your commute to work or the time you may have left after a lunch break. All dead time. Tip three. Set attainable goals and realistic deadlines for yourself. Strategize and plan. If you have limited time, make sure the time you do have is productive. Tip four, tell your family and friends what you're doing. It really is essential to inform your family and loved ones about your plans so they know what to expect from you. Don't try to cut out your family life and relaxation altogether because this can cause you to burn out really quickly. Tip five, Keep evaluating your time. Once you've been running your business for a few weeks, record how much time you spend on certain tasks and make sure you're being productive. Work smart. Know which time of day you're mentally at your best and make that the time you spend on your new business. Tip six, networking is key. Networking is vital for the success of any new business. Dead time will be the perfect time for networking your business on social media. So when you're on the train or bus home, you can easily take out your phone and set up a Facebook account for your business. Tip seven, don't quit your full-time job until you're certain your business can provide a decent wage. Maybe discuss a phased resignation period with your employer. Map out a game plan for how you're going to earn money. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. Starting a new business takes time to develop. Don't be too hard on yourself. Give it time to grow. Most of our students are working full time when they start their study and most of them continue to work full time until well over the first year into their business and they now run successful businesses because of it. The key here is to not be afraid to try. There is no such thing as failure, only challenges. My advice is to weigh up which is scarier to you, trying your very best doing something you love and failing or not trying at all, walking away from your dream and always wondering what if.